There is a lot of buzz going on right now in the housing market how buyers are receiving a ton of incentives. How long is that gonna last? Also, should you be buying a house right now? What about the interest rates? Are those gonna be changing anytime soon? If you're asking yourself any of those questions, stick around because I got some information you are gonna want to hear. Let's go ahead and add some context. If you were trying to buy a home during the pandemic, you would have soon realized how nearly impossible it was. From very low inventory, from houses flying off the market, people had to be prepared to spend thousands of dollars extra just to secure a home with little to no leverage and just the home itself. But as expected, the market went ahead and made some adjustments to try to balance itself. Interest rates dramatically increased, not only slowing down buyers, but also changing their buying power. For example, people that qualified for $400,000 was dramatically decreased due to those higher interest rates. And unfortunately, leaving homes on the market that were overpriced and soon can expect to sit on the market for a longer period of time. All this really leaves us to what's going on right now. As of now, interest rates has normalized. Also, the amount of inventory, which is the amount of homes that are available, are now at a more healthier three months worth of inventory. But also, the days that the house stays on the market before it sells has increased from around 15 to 30 days to now 60 days on the market. Because there's more houses available on the market now, and the days on the market are extending longer and longer, Sellers are now having to make adjustments, lowering their price to add value or close to value, but also offering incentives. They're called seller concessions. They're pretty much a buyer's credit to help sell their home. Also, new builds unfortunately experience a very large percentage of individuals that actually had to pull out of a home that were in the middle of building because they no longer qualify for that price range, leaving homes complete but with no buyers. There are many builders right now that literally don't build inventory homes. They don't want homes just sitting for long periods of time. So a lot of them only build homes as buyers request. There are some builders out there that actually build inventory homes, but I've also seen that change depending on the market. Because everything that's going on right now, we're literally in a wave of a seller adjustment period. All these extreme benefits may not last as long as we want them to. A quick example of these huge benefits. I've seen builders do a price reduction from seventy dollars to $100,000, offering up to $30,000 in seller concessions, buyer credit, and even offering a $10,000 gift card at closing to the buyer. That is insane. Yes, we still may be in a buyer's market towards the end of the year, but these huge benefits right now are done because sellers are making the adjustment. In a few months from now, I think it's fair to say that a lot of wise buyers are gonna really jump on all these opportunities. And all these inventory homes that the builders have will no longer be available. But also these homes right now that have extended days on the market for sellers trying to make the adjustments may no longer be available. Eventually, people that are selling their homes will start really understanding the market and price their property accordingly. Yes, we still may be receiving benefits in the buyer's market, but they may not be as grand. Builders will also most likely just build homes as buyers request versus having inventory homes. So we go back down to the main question. Should you be buying a house right now? The answer is a resounding yes. It's a wave, it's a temporary thing as these sellers are making adjustments and offering all these incentives. May not last very long. So get your pre-qualification, find out what your buying power is, and really take advantage of this moment. I have also seen VA and even regular transactions walk out with a credit at closing. It's a big deal and huge savings for you as a buyer. What about interest rates, you ask? We are actually anticipated to have a short-lived recession until the first quarter of 2024. So if all this is fully realized, then we can potentially expect interest rates to be going in the downward direction towards the end of this year. But there is a very, very important quote to remember. Marry the home, not the rate. Take advantage of these deals now, and if the interest rates do decrease by the end of the year, you have opportunities to refinance. At the end of the day, buying a home can be a little intimidating, and the market can be unpredictable from time to time. However, buying a home in San Antonio in this market right now can be considered a calculated risk 
as the values are anticipated on growing year over year, which means you are building wealth for you and your family year over year. If you have any questions on how to even buy a home, feel free to hit this link here. You, oh, I have a video explaining everything, but we can also meet in person. I can break everything down for you and your specific needs. You can give me a call at 210-601-0204. I would love to help you out through this process and take advantage of this current market. Feel free to use the website down below in the description so you can get a list of all the available homes in San Antonio and surrounding cities. But also be sure to like and subscribe as I keep you updated with the market, get some real estate tips, but also give you some home tours and we can explore San Antonio together. My name is John Moses with Cobo Banker, Dan Harper Realtors. To old friends and new.